Welcome back, friends, to Me and the Boys Wrestling. This is episode two. I'm going to click this link right here on three, two, one. And we're going to get this show on the road. Um, we got a lot of exciting stuff lined up right off the bat. We got Chris McClellan versus Dr. Volcano. Everybody's trying to get those points. Uh, Dr. Volcano snagged two points last week in a, a big win over James Zippe. And uh, Chris came up short against Brooke, I believe. I should have my notes. It was Brooke, though. I'm nearly 100% positive. <clears throat> However, let's go to the notes. There's no telling sure. what a competitor is capable of when they're battling under extreme rules. Well, oh, make no mistake about it. This match is high stakes, high wow. risk. Dr. Volcano with a reward. flapjack, I think he's called. A pancake? Years of your career. It's one or the other. A flapjack or a pancake. Uh, yeah, Brooke beat Chris last episode. I'm going to just turn my volume down a bit here. Very curious move to go for a pinfall. Chris going for an early pinfall. You're not going to beat Dr. Volcano like that. Oh, a little do si -do there. Glitch Mania running wild, maybe. Maybe we'll see more of that. More glitches tonight. We'll see. We got five matches lined up. Tonight we're going all extreme rules. So uh, no rope break, no count outs, no disqualifications. Chris using all of his weight to his advantage there, stepping right on the sternum of Dr. Volcano. Oh, just a massive heel to the side of the head. He might as well go for a pin there. That could have been it. As we've seen in the past, extreme rules matches create a type of hysteria. Dr. Volcano's got him up again. Just walking him around the ring like he's nothing. And snake eyes on the top rope. And just a kick to the chest. Oh, a neck breaker. Chris sporting his uh, Ultimate Warrior tidy whities as he does. Dr. Volcano rocking the vest from a few years ago. Oh, some Bailey to belly suplexes. Dr. Volcano is going to the top rope. And then like a Almost like a silly salmon body splash from the top rope. That would have been a shocker. Chris sits up though, like the Undertaker. He just cannot he misses with a wild kick. I think he missed with that same kick last week. Uh -oh. Gotta stop using that move, bud. Oh, Dr. Volcano with the Polish hammer. This could do it. One. Two. Two. Oh, I thought he had him. That was a massive Polish hammer. Chris is hurt though, he's rocked. And the doctor's still stomping away. Got him in like an elbow lock there. Oh, Chris is fighting back. Massive spear. And he's going for the pin now. One, two. No. The doctor yeah, kicks out. To keep him down. What's he setting up for here? The king of swing. No, the big swing. Wow, classic. I could see this being one of Chris's moves. I could see this being in his repertoire if he were a wrestler. Will it be? And he's going for a pin. One, two. Oh, that was close too. Just not enough damage done yet, Cole. You can let the ref know, man. Count it. One, two, three, ref. Chris in control now. Oh, but the doctor still got some fight left. Stomping him in the corner. On Chris's 19th birthday, we went bar hopping because we were of legal age, and we went to uh, we went to I think 19 bars in one night or something ridiculous, and like somebody would hop out of the car. We had a designated driver. Everything was on the up and up. 
somebody would hop out of the car and like go do one shot in that bar with Chris. And Chris was just like an unstoppable drinking machine that night. And it was a feat of drinking I've never seen before or, uh, or since. He's going for a pin here. One, two, three. He got him. Chris picks up two points off Dr. Volcano. A much needed two points after a loss last week. We're seeing some of the replays, some of the highlights of what went down. There's the big swing. That was probably the beginning of the end. All the blood rushed to his head, and that was that. Let's see who we got next to. Oh, this next one's a doozy. The shoulders are down for three. Chris and McGregor. That's books. you, bud. <laughs> that's, that's, that's as close as we can get to McClellan. It's your night. It's your night. The crowd here tonight certainly yeah. seem to appreciate Byron's right. And what it's Chris's night tonight. Match. What is that, a ski lift? Yeah. He's happy about that win. He needed it. That's good. Parity. You want parity in the league. We, we're not going to have like a Roman Reigns where they just give him the belt. They just make you, you know, enjoy him. Even if you don't really. You're just like, oh, Roman. He's all right now, though. The heel switch was nice. I don't know if you guys watch wrestling. This is uh, a fantastic grudge match. Mike Pettit versus James Zippe. Uh, there's some stories that I just won't tell, but this will be good. <laughs> this will be fun to watch. Something about a, a golf club. Uh, something, I think Lowville was involved. I don't know. You guys know. We'll just wink. Let the audience use their imagination and figure out. Fun times, boys. Me and the boys. This is me and the boys wrestling. It's basically a giant tournament. We're going to throw these guys against each other in all kinds of different ways. Next week, we're going to get crazy. We're going to do some tag team matches. Um, there's a, a match that I didn't create it. It's just a, a tweak on uh, something that already exists. But that's okay. We'll find out what that is next episode. This episode, though, five Extreme Rules matches, one after the other, just right in your face. Right off the bat here, we got Zippe up on the top rope looking for a superplex, and he hits him with it. That's going to do a lot of damage. Oh, going for a pin early. He doesn't want to mess around. He saw Pettit win last week. Zippe's hungry for a win. Lost to Dr. Volcano last week. See where this goes. Pettit rocking his toga still. Hopefully he washed it. Zippe with a knee lift. And he tosses Pettit into the corner, but Pettit fires back with an elbow. Right. Oh, Zippe with the Luthez press and delivering some shots. Where's my money? Give him his money, Pettit. One. Oh, not ready yet. Oh, Zippe's starting to lose it. Oh, Pettit with a big chop. A kick to the leg. And, uh, ooh. Just hangs him out to dry on the top rope. He goes for a pin, but no dice. Kicks him in the back. It's starting to come together in a big way for this guy. Man drops him flat on his face. Pettit's now going out. Oh, what's he doing? 
He's looking for something under the ring. He's got himself a chair. Wow. Oh, Zippe, though. On the ball, just punches him right in the mouth, makes him drop the chair. Now, big knees to the gut. And a Russian leg sweep. A Czechoslovakian leg sweep. I guess you never know. I mean, Pettit misses with a giant kick. Here's Ipe with a little judo throw. Oh, a massive DDT. That chair hasn't come into play yet at all. Zippe going for a pin. And it's not ready yet. Oh, he sits up with authority. Again with that kick. He's determined to get that kick. Tosses Zippe to the corner. And buries a shoulder into his gut. Oh, but Zippe fighting back. Kicks him right in the chest. And stomps him. Knee right in the face. That can't feel good. Oh, twists up his arm. Falls down, kicks him right in the mouth. Two. No. It's going to take a finisher, boys. Pettit going for a big swing. We saw a big swing last week from Chris. Wow, popular move here at me and the boys. Who's gonna get these points? Pettit going for a pin. It's gonna take a finisher. Or somebody should use that chair. Two points up for grabs here. I'd be swinging that chair. Oh, there you go. Zippe fighting back. Ooh, that's a hip toss. No, you're not going to beat him with a hip toss. He's not going down yet. Still too fresh. It's not how it goes. And there's that DDT again. That it's flat. One. Two. Oh, Zippe wants to end this now. He's calling for it. Oh, he's got something lined up. Let's see what he's got in the bag. Cross the shoulders. Fireman's carry and oh, a Falcon Arrow. One, two, three. Oh, not quite. Pettit kicks out at the last second. Now Pettit raining blows down onto Zippe. I'm going for a pin. No dice. Zippe's got a finisher saved up too. That could come into play. Oh, Pettit with a big Uranagi. And taking a minute to showboat. Zippe rolls to the outside. Still nobody's used that chair. It's just right there up for grabs. Zippe going for an arm bar. And Pettit rolls it over. And fireman's carry now on Pettit. And another Falcon Arrow. That could do it. One, two, three. He got him. Zippe. Zippe takes home two points. You're going to want those two points early on like this. This is a long game. You're gonna want those two points. Everybody though, kind of trading points. The guys that won last week, lost this week. There's the big replay. Oh, there's that thing. I don't know what that's called. Do you twist his arm around and go back like that? There's the big swing. You could have got him right there. Something about that big swing just drains him, man. All the blood rushes to his head. <laughs> Here is your winner. Oh, there it is.
A smooth here operator, out, James so Ippe. This one's over, and here's your winner. That's the kind of win that makes you feel good about yourself. Yeah, you can bet they're going to be talking about this match for quite look, some yeah, time. It, it kind of looks like him, I guess. Not, not really. The hair color is way off. That's for sure. That's where I would start. Like the hair color is, he's not that blonde. What do we got next? I could check the notes and see. Oh, wow. We got it coming up next. Not Lady Gaga. <laughs> Look at this lineup of characters, though. Some of these characters, they make up the world of villains only wrestling, which if you're not watching, you should be. If you're enjoying this, you you'd really enjoy that because it's like all villains from pop culture and stuff. And there's also some other surprises coming down the lane. Surprises involving serial killers. But right now, though, we got Brooke versus Brent. Brent with his Hawaiian shirt. Brooke with his Haters Wanted shirt, scaling mountains and whatnot. Brent with his 420 DNA hat. Look at you guys. Look at you guys in the promo. Friends for life, but not tonight. Tonight it's a fight for your life situation. The loading time is unbearable. Kendo sticks, garbage cans, Two points up for grabs here, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. Snapmare takes down Brooke right away. Raining elbows. It's a vicious move. We saw Brooke take down Chris last week. Yeah, he wants to end this one early. Oh, a drop kick to the back. And he stomps his arm for good measure. Snap, Snap suplex. He grabs him up again. Oh, a vicious European uppercut. A kick to the leg. And he hangs him out to dry on the top rope there. On the top rope there, bud. Oh, Hurricane Rana. He's going for the pin. Yeah, it's too early for a pin. But you might as well try. Yeah, he's acting like he can't believe it. It's way too early to act like you can't believe it. Come on, Brooke. The better chance they have a victory. Just whipping Brent in the corner. Here we go. Start the count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. Nine, ten. Wow, all ten punches. Come on, Brent. You gotta do better than that. Like a flipping drop kick. Brooks' guy is pretty crazy, though. He does all sorts of, like... Yeah, like that. Like double bag flips. That's absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> the move set that he has is incredible. Oh, but that's not enough to keep Brent down. It's going to take more than double back flips. Caught off guard. <laughs> Under hook back breaker. starting to show on him. The lack of rules has exposed him to some real punishment. Oh, big power bomb. And the knee to the face. That could do it. One. Two. Three. Yeah. That knee to the face, man. That's nasty. That is a nasty finishing move. Well, they don't call it extreme rules for nothing, guys. Let's take another look. I am stomping on the sternum like that. Brooke is vicious. He's going to be dangerous. He's going to be one to watch. Four points right now. I don't think anybody else has four points yet. He's the first one to four points. He's got a history, too. We watched him come up. When me and the boys invaded QLW way back in the day. 
These guys were a dominant force for a little bit. And Brooke was actually the last holder of the Quarantine League Wrestling Championship. Sugarfoot, well, Brooke Sugarfoot Kavanaugh. Hey, they both gave it their all, but in the end, we owns a restaurant in Toronto now. Fantastic. Imagine, there aren't too many people at home regretting tuning in for that amazing match. Wow. Sixth season? I don't want to get it wrong. I'll uh, I'll check back, but I think it's called the sixth season or all six seasons. I haven't been yet. I'm I'm awful, but it's. COVID and I'm not supposed to go to a different town. Like, let's just see what's next, you know? I could check the notes. But the suspense. Wow. Adam Kennedy versus the James character at the Overlord's Coliseum, obviously, and Extreme Rules. Now, Kennedy and I played football together. At one point, I was an offensive lineman, and he was a defensive lineman. And they, you know, we did some of the drills against each other. So at one point, the coaches had us line up and... It was me against him, and it was an epic battle of longtime friend versus longtime friend. And all afternoon, the coach is going, ready, set, hot. We're going on one. We're going on one. Ready, set, hot all afternoon. So the defensive coach, though, is going on three. They're going one, two, three. So both coaches yelled their their thing at the same time. And I don't know, Kennedy went, I didn't go, and he knocked me on my ass. <laughs> I, to this day, will defend that it was a, it was a miscommunication. I was going on hot, and he was going on three, which was literally the same thing. I could be misremembering it. Kennedy, chime in. However, I got annihilated that day. And he's been bothering me about it for my entire life. So, I hope I win this match. Take that, Kennedy. What happened to Kennedy last week? Did he win? Uh, Kennedy won last week, yes, over Shane. Probably because he comes to the ring in a helmet. Like that's probably a good call, especially in an extreme rules situation. Oh. Throwing him right into the post like that. No mercy for this man. Oh, Kennedy fights back, though. All this action happening on the outside. No countouts here. Not tonight. Back in from the floor. Real quick reminder, guys. There are no disqualifications and no countouts in this one. Anything Thanks a lot, Corey Graves. I just oh. said that. Oh, wow. Kennedy just drifts him. Just a strong right, right to the side of the temple. Dangerous situation here, guys. Mm, James right. fighting back. Got him in the corner now. Oh, a big blow. kick. An alley oop power bomb. I didn't know what that was called. Uh, see, you don't want to elbow a man in his helmet. Arm drag. Yeah, just pop him one. Pop him two. Pop him through. Come on, man. You got to defend yourself. As Corey mentioned, there's a still my avatar. You know, that's me out there getting pumped. <laughs> it's your form a little bit. He's getting fed right now. Okay, there we go. No. Oh, Russian leg sweep. Canadian leg sweep. Ah, Kennedy keeps psyching me out. I think he's going for a weapon, but he just keeps leaving and coming back. Each and every one of them are being entertained tonight. He throws him over the top rope. See you later, bud. Oh, wow. 
choke slam backbreaker. Kennedy panders to the crowd a little bit. Why not? You're in good shape. Picked up a win last week. Maybe in a bad way here. Extreme rules matches are brutal and it's catching up with him. You want to get those early wins. I keep repeating it, but they're going to stack up. And as we get later on and you're behind by like three Don't points, a lot of mercy to be you're going to want here. those points. Like last week, we'll post the overall standings, or the overall points, I guess, at the, at the end of the episode. So you can see just where we're at. And like I said, next week, we're going to mix it right up. physicality of this match it has been absolutely brutal. a lot of this has just been on the outside and Kennedy's just a vicious monster who likes to fight in the dirt throws him back in now maybe we can get somewhere here come on boys oh no end of days this could be it one, two, oh! That was two and three quarters, friends. Kennedy shocked, frustrated too. Oh, there's that right again. Just hammers him. And the choke slam backbreaker again. One. Two. Oh, still not enough. It was a signature move, it wasn't enough. Wow, big DDT out of nowhere. Still got some left in the tank. I'm going for a pin, but I don't know. That could have been a last gasp. Oh yeah, he's looking for a weapon, that's right. That's what we need. There you go, he's got a kendo stick. Oh, Kennedy just takes it. <laughs> Kennedy just takes it from him and smacks him with it. Oh, and again. Uh, one, two, three. <laughs> it's over. Kennedy, there you go, bud. You win. For all the marbles. You blew me off the line that day. <laughs> I lost miserably. Look at that though. Choke slam backbreaker. Oh, look at that DDT. Look at that DDT, oh boy. Hooks the leg. No dice. Last second. Wow. Mr. Kennedy, no of course, That's a is in the game, so right you can there. create Mr. This Kennedy, like but we made our own Mr. Kennedy. Room, and I wouldn't put it past him. You got that right, partner. Again, huge win here tonight. Clapping it up. Another man with four points. Rook and Kennedy. Again, also dominant in, in QLW. In the invasion angles and all of that stuff. Um, yeah, experience. It's coming into play here. Extreme rules again here. Me and the boys wrestling. Just a bunch of guys fighting each other uh, for points. Here we go. Business just picked up. We got Danger Boy Dana Boyle with his Fight Anyone shirt. Ready to just eat someone's flesh <laughs> oh my god Shane McDonald versus Danger Boy Dana Boyle a grudge match for the ages I don't think they've ever met in person <laughs> but I don't know I can't remember I don't think they've met in person that's funny. But their first meeting is going to be a fight to the death. <laughs> well, to a three count, not to the death. Extreme rules, though, so who knows? 
They can fight out all into the stands. Over the years, we've seen a lot of extreme rules matches. Oh, Shane going right in. Spears to the announce table. And you got to clap your hands. And breaks the hold. There you go. Cosmic rule. Oh, yeah, nice neck breaker. Going for a pin early. That's. Plenty of fight left. Too soon. Yeah. Kind of dumps him over his over his head there, He's stomping him down. He's got those shin guards on. I hope the referee checked those shin guards because I don't trust that O'Boyle doesn't have something jammed down in there. Danger Boy's devious like that. Russian leg sweep, Irish leg sweep. Rocking that Keith Flint haircut, the warrior makeup. Shame with a drop toe hold. Not messing around here. Shane spends his time now wrestling, making sick beats. Under the name DJ Aram. Extreme rules matches create a type of hysteria that's difficult to describe, even more difficult to contain. Just stomping a mud hole now. He's really taking charge here. Boom, right across the small of the back. Oh, and big knee lift. Somebody better check his nose. He's looking a little off balance. Both of these guys yeah, need points. Neither of these guys have points. Somebody's going to leave here with some points, and that's nice. But somebody's not, and you're in a world of trouble. Moving into week three, and you don't have points yet? That's bad news. Week three, though, there's going to be lots of chances to get points. So we're going to mix it up a bit. We're going to have tag matches. We're going to have one very special match. Wow, Shane with a big spear. Oh, we're getting there, but I don't think that's enough. And the shoulder gets up in time. He can withstand a lot more punishment, I can promise you that. Crowd's loving it, jumping up and down, pumping their fists. We want blood. Shane going for a pin. Oh, he still not enough. enough to get the pin yet. And the match continues. Soon he's got to hit a finisher. I don't think either of these guys would ever tap out. Just stomping across the sternum of the man. Just a side breaker. Side breaker? Shane doing the big show move again. I think we saw that last week. It's so easy to stay in touch with your superstars 24-7 in a variety of social media outlets, including oh, WWE's own Facebook Good old-fashioned chest slap. Oh, man. Oh. Yeah, he reverses and drop toe hold and hammers him in the back. And he spins him around now. What's he looking for? Oh, a side effect. He steps outside for a minute to, I don't know, let Shane catch his breath. It's got to be frustrating watching this man. He's going for the pin. The home of slam. He That's a big slam. Now he's stepping outside again. Here. He could be trying to pin the man. Oh, he's looking for a weapon. Okay. Oh, he's just got the bat. Call your friends. Let him the know random bat. Right now in this awesome oh, he match. took a swing, but he missed. That's going to come back to haunt him. With Shame with a big boot. Now he's going outside. Where's he going now? Uh, he's just coming back in. Now going for the pin. <laughs> After 10 seconds of not going for the pin. He's not giving up that easy. Oh, Danger Boy hit him with a low blow. 
Wow. Come on, old boy. <laughs> He's in control. And then a Bailey to belly to finish him off. Oh, but he rolls out. Veteran move. And it looks like this rolls to the outside. To the Can't pin him out there. Not going to get any points out there. Look at that bat still in the ring. Could be a factor. He's not looking good here, guys. Danger boy with the bulldog. This could be I'm going for a pin. One, two, three. He got him with that bulldog. Wow. He won the match. Danger boy Dana Boyle takes some points. We've got some highlights from the last one queued up. Here we go. And Shane, unfortunately, man, you got to step it up. You got no points. Going into week three. You got a rebound. <laughs> Look at that in a regular match. That's a rope break. Not tonight. Extreme rules. Let's see what we got coming up next. Here is your winner, oh. Danger. That's all five. My bad. I got sucked right in no there. Fans or butts about it. That was a huge win. I think you just okay. put the Danger WWE Boy. Roster on notice That's our that fifth victory. match. Like we said, well, we like I said, next week uh, we're going to switch things up a little bit and get away from those one-on-one -on -one contests. And uh, do a couple of tag team matches and a special match that I created that I didn't really create. I just added a stipulation to something else. Uh, yeah, so thanks for watching. I'm going to post the overall points at the end. And uh, hopefully you're being entertained, choosing favorites. Uh, I got to love Danger Boy Dana Boyle just because of the way that he looks. Also, Chris in his tidy whiteies. I'm, I'm cheering for those guys. So hop on board. Choose a horse in the race. And uh, yeah, follow them. See you next time. Cheers.